up, guys? This is Devin. And this is Mark. And we are extra especially excited for this week's episode of Vibe LA. Your weekly breakdown on what's happening all across the city. Every week we cover a range of topics covering music, lifestyle, real estate, fashion, events, culture, and so much more. So for this podcast, to summarize it up, we're going to be talking about Valentine's Day, which is actually tomorrow. Hallelujah. <laughs> Love it. For some of you. This is going to be fun. Yeah. So for this awesome Valentine's Day spectacular special, we'll be talking about Valentine's Day horror stories, the best gifts you can get out there, speed dating, Bumble and Tinder strategies to lock in a date in the next 24 hours. Damn. Yeah. And what do you what do you do if all you want to do is just go out there and just mingle? Fuck it, get some ramen and have a good night in. Let's go. All right, Mark. So uh, what's going down? So we got some horror stories uh, that you mentioned. You've read through or you've experienced. You probably experienced them because you're just a fucking wreck. wreck. Train wreck. Wreck of a human being. (laughs) But uh, no, I want to hear some of these Valentine's Day horror stories. I mean, that's like, you know, you're planning this thing, hopefully, for more than like an hour or two. You know, you got uh, everything. That's how you're supposed to do it? (laughs) I don't know. You got everything like kind of put together. You want to, you know, impress your significant other. And when shit just hits the fan... Bro, I, I couldn't imagine. Well, so. some of these stories, that actually is literally what happens. Yeah? Well, uh, I'm on the edge of my seat right now, leaning in, and... Uh, no, like, he actually is. He's actually on the edge of his seat, trying to get close to the mic, leaning in. I am. It's, yeah. And for his first Not case. a metaphor. <laughs> 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 All right, okay, check it out. So there's 13 stories, and uh, I picked a select few, just, uh, you know, that I thought were pretty funny. So here's number one. I'm going to be reading this from the, the source. The source. I got dumped. So, this is a story about my ex-boyfriend invited me over to his house to spend Valentine's Day with him. I was really excited, and I'd even bought him some really nice pens and a notebook because he was really into drawing. Sounds like a keeper. Sounds like an old alien. <laughs> <laughs> I drove 30 minutes from my place to get there. Okay, first of all, like, really? Bro, like, I've driven an hour and a half, two hours. No, like, no, what? No. If they don't live down the street, it's okay. No, I know. This is in L.A.? <laughs> no, this is actually in New York. But uh, anyways, so I drove 30 minutes from my place to get there, and we were just hanging out in his room, living with his parents. Oh, shit. He was acting really weird, so I asked him what was wrong, and he proceeded to break up with me right there after I gave him his present. Shana, from New York, we feel for you. Damn. Well, he probably had an opportunity to write it in his new journal. Just uh, kind of... <laughs> <laughs> he, he his diary? It. He drew it out. He drew it out. Okay, here's a good one. I clogged the toilet. Oh, shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I told you. So Not many. planned at all. No pun intended. Oh, man. Okay, so on Valentine's Day, my senior year of high school... Oh, gosh, this poor girl. On Valentine's Day, my senior year of high school, my mom decided it would be a good idea to invite the extended family over. Her cousin had just gotten divorced, mm-hmm, and some somehow both the cousin and the ex showed up. <laughs> oh, no. Cue the stiffest family gathering you could ask for. You could seriously feel the tension through the whole house. This surreal nightmare accumulated in the clogging of the toilet, which caused a pipe to burst, <laughs> which caused a massive leak about five feet from where everyone was sitting, eating cheese. Okay, guys, that's like, this is the kind of thing where you just like, Jacob, you know, pick up, pick, up, pick up your shit and just like run. Just book it, like block that person's number. Like you're, you're done, <laughs> you're history. Jacob from Boston, we feel for you, bro. And just hang in there, bro. Hang in there. You're gonna. You're gonna. This year will be better. <laughs> Next year, this year won't be as shitty. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, this is a good one. So this is uh, this is a pretty funny one. I told my best friend I was in love with him on Valentine's Day. He told me he didn't feel the same way about me, and he said he was secretly in love with our other friend. Ouch. Damn. He kept saying how hot she was, which made me feel inferior. Things were rough for a while. I was mad at him for being insensitive when I had literally just poured out my heart to him. I ended up rebounding with some other guy that was actually his best friend, and I stopped speaking to him for a while. I was heartbroken for a long time, and then I ended up hooking up with his friend and also his secret admirer in a threesome. Wow. Damn. Wow. Got down right there. That's impressive. I'm, well, I'm happy Valentine's Day. Happy <laughs> Valentine's Day, guys. <laughs> oh my Can't God. wait to hear your story. So uh, if you have anything fun to comment, leave them in the comments. Maybe we'll get to it next year. Maybe we won't. Probably we won't. If it's really good, I'll just talk about it next week. Yeah, we'll just talk about it next week. Kind of a recap on If you on clog your, the toilet, uh, please tell us. Please. It'll be so exciting. 
All right, then let's move forward. All right, cool. So uh, what's next on the list? We got best gifts you can get out there. This is a good one. Yeah, for sure. All right, bro. So uh, what is, I guess, maybe in your experience, kind of putting you on the griddle right now, what's the best gift you've given and or received on Valentine's Day? Okay, well, my girlfriend's literally sitting right next to me, so this is awkward. Say hi, Nicole. Hi. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's ask her. Nicole, come over here. Come here. Come here, Nicole. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? This is Nicole. Hi. Okay, Nicole, tell us what is the best Valentine's Day gift you've gotten so I can one-up this guy. Um, one of my exes bought me a trip to Fiji, all exclusive. You just gotta fuck yourself, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man! Keep going. Yeah, that was it. It's all all exclusive. Did, did, to you, Fiji. Wait, did you guys end up going? Week? You guys go to Absolutely. bars? Where are, you, where are you taking her, Mark? <laughs> okay, we're going to Ibiza. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, tell us the best gift you've given. Um. So I can expect. <laughs> I gifted him this six-week-old German Shepherd puppy. Oh, that is so cute. It's adorbs. It's so adorbs. Okay, well, um, moving on. Devin, I have to get my new gift now. Devin, tell us yours. All right, so uh, I got an interesting one. This is actually going back to high school, which makes it, I don't know. I was 17, but no, actually get rid of this. <laughs> no, no, anyway, so basically, I spent about 350 bucks on Victoria's Secret lingerie for this girl that I was kind of talking to at the time. Wasn't even like a solid thing. I was just like, you know, hoping for <laughs> a good end result. And it turned out well, but it was like, honestly, it was a gift for me uh, more than anything else. Yeah, Devin a little Warren. selfish. Devin. Yeah, I did. I'm, I'm beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, obviously those are two very, you know, I guess you could say over the top gift purchases, but there's a ton of other stuff you can get as well. Um, so we rounded up just a few of our top favorite picks and Nicole vetted them. Um, I think they're all great. Awesome. Yeah. So, all right. So there is a Lego bricks and more Valentine's Cupid dog. Nicole, imagine, imagine you got a Lego dog for Valentine's Day. <laughs> wait, wait would, you, would you like that? Okay, good. That's actually what I got. I think it's really cool. Uh, let's see. It's we got ages seven and up, so... We have a, uh, a, a this is gluten free book, delicious gluten free recipes to bake it better. That's perfect for the uh, the gluten free uh, significant other in your life. Yeah, we also have a gluten gluten free episode. Um, check it out. A couple of weeks ago, because you didn't know what gluten was. Definitely. Or free. Uh, another one is actually going to be uh, our favorite candy shop, as we mentioned in the past, Sugar Fina. You can get some uh, twenty four karat leaf champagne Dom Perignon gummy bears. Yeah, that's super bougie. And then, uh, let's see, what else do we have here? You can get a swell. Everyone loves a swell. Everyone loves a swell. You can get, purses are a little dicey, because it's like, I don't know, Nicole's in the room. She's uh, kind of auditing this episode. If a guy gets you a purse, it's like, fuck, this better be a good purse. Or it's yeah. like, you know, because we, we're terrible with that kind of shit. But I have to confess, I may have texted your mom a couple of times. Is this a good purse? She's not saying anything. She's not we're saying anything. Forward. All right. That's so bad. I'm just looking through like a list of like the top things. There is a Miss Myers Clean Day Limited Edition Peony Scent Kitchen Set. This is perfect. You know, actually, for cleaning you the know, kitchen. You know, that's I don't so know. Fun. Actually, that's a good gift. Here right. you go, babe. Hey, babe. Right, enjoy the work you're gonna have to do. Right, clean the kitchen. Like what? That's so fucked. But okay. Uh, you have oh, I love the essential oil diffuser, I know that, which is actually, not a bad okay. idea. No, this is the one I love. Okay, hanging air plant terrarium. Terrarium. Terranium? What's a terranium? Yeah, it's like it's a terrarium. terrarium. No, 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 no. Terranium. There's no N. There isn't, 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 isn't. There's no N in that word? <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? For $22. $22? Yes. You have an avocado joy slicer, so you can uh, <laughs> cut your avocados in all different ways. Um, perfect for your avocado toast. For all the alcoholics out here, we have a guzzle buddy. Guzzle buddy. So that's basically, it's a, it's a wine wine glass that like pops into the top of a wine bottle. So you could literally drink wine from the bottle. Out of a glass. Yeah, it's almost like a cork kind of thing, and you you just plug it into the top, and then whenever you go to drink, it filters through very gently, and then you can have you can literally be drinking a bottle of wine from the top of a glass. It actually looks pretty funny. Another one right along that same uh, thread, I guess you could say, is the champagne bong. It's kind of like if you've uh, ever heard or seen a beer bong. It's like a big tube attached to a funnel that you fill up with beer, and you know immediately it just like rushes down, like you, you just drink it up real quick. 
basically the same concept with champagne. It's a champagne glass with a big tube coming out the bottom. Look it up. It's called the Shambong. And what's cool, too, is you can put, like, little treats around it. You can put, like, little gummies or some donuts or whatever. Make it look really nice. Make right. it look spoiled, you know? And maybe, if you, maybe you can wrap around a Fiji ticket around it. And if you really want to go over the top, you can get... Uh, I've seen this a few times. It's called a Champagne Gun. So basically, you uncork the champagne, you pop it in this like gun. It's made of, I believe it's, is it metal or plastic? Um, but anyway, you pop it into this gun, and you're basically able to blast champagne, like kind of like, you're at, like a party. So this is for yeah. the, if, if you're in like a party relationship, you know, go to Ibiza, Mykonos, and Yacht Week, <laughs> and just really live in life on the wild side. It's a great way to have a lot of fun. Just get out there and uh, get funky, funky. Funky, funky. All right, bro. So uh, I think we covered... Off a decent list for uh, everybody. All the, girl, out there. all the girls are cringing right now. These gifts. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean, they're you like, want to stay like, on the safe side. Like, put Nicole back on. Right. Stay away from jewelry unless it's like you get like her best friend to vent <laughs> shit for you. Because uh, yeah, it's gonna be. Wait, a how about one. the gifts for the guys though? Oh yeah, gifts for guys. Well, we we, we never get gifts, or do we? We just kind of do. I better fucking get a gift. We better get. A I'm gift. looking at Nicole. Right. <laughs> just I, I just want like a massage envy gift card. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Deep tissue. <laughs> Or, you know, it's cool. I'll, I'll take an Xbox One. I mean, take some, like a, a case of beer. That sounds perfect for me. Yeah. Or two. Right? Or two. Or yes. five. Yes. You, can, you can get like five and put them in a sugar Actually, the, the sugar fina gummies sound pretty good. They do sound good. I'd be done with Let's that. Let's go get some. Let's do it. Bye, guys. <laughs> it's like, it's like recording. Oh my god! All right, so uh, I think we covered a decent uh, a decent number of items that our audience members can check out. Um, so basically, you know, I wanted to scoot over into our next topic. So, uh, Mark, what do you think about Valentine's Day speed dating? Okay, so on the eleventh, Eventbrite had an event. Uh, it was a pre Valentine's Day speed dating. So you know, you kind of get in there. Do your thing, maybe hit it off with someone, and then you have a date for Valentine's Day. So Mark unless and I went. You, unless you clog the toilet. So Mark and I went, and uh, sorry, Nicole, but uh, we did some market <laughs> research, and we were trying to figure out, uh, you know, what good information we could get for this podcast. Now, uh, let's back it up, though, to be serious. Have you ever gone speed dating? Uh, no. No? I haven't either, <laughs> so good call. I do have a friend, though, uh, Bryce, who <laughs> he actually has done our, uh, our traffic update. He's the guy that's like, yeah, he's sitting in traffic. Yeah, traffic sucks. It totally does all the time. So long story short, he uh, mentioned he wanted to go to the speed dating event with me. And I was like, bro, what are you doing? Like, you're how old? You're like 25 and you want to go speed dating? You're not like, this is for a middle-aged person, I guess. Or maybe not. I don't know. But uh, long story short, let's get back to the Valentine's Day speed dating thing. So the event took place over on 800 West 7th Street over at Wakeno uh, in L.A. Uh, the, the event actually sold out pretty quickly for men, and there was a, some spots left for women to sign up. Uh, no shocker there. Uh, so it's like a nightclub. It's like, yeah, Jesus. right? So it's the, actually, they say it's the most effective way for men and women to meet, and nothing beats meeting someone face-to-face, which is actually true, but in our day and age, a lot of it's social media, which kind of sucks. Actually, we're going to talk about that soon. Next. Yes. Oh, wait, hold, on. Hey, hold on, okay, hold on. Hold on to your little pants. Okay, so basically, <laughs> you, you will meet up to 10 singles just for one night of fun and hopefully have a date for Valentine's Day. So, I mean, imagine having to meet, like, I mean, the pressure's kind of on at that point. Like, it's like, I mean, imagine just having been there, like, this weekend and sitting there, you're like, oh, shit, I have... Like literally an hour and a half or two to like find my date for Valentine's Day. And here's the could thing. be potential right. of my future significant other. So you basically go on about twenty five dates in this setting, this scene, and each date's about four minutes. So I mean, you're gonna have to really talk for about four minutes, just meeting someone right off the bat in some kind of like speed dating environment, which might be a nerve wracking for some. It's like an elevator pitch because it's like. I mean, there's like, you want to obviously listen to what the other person's saying, but then you want to tell your story. You want to make an impression, and then you want to kind of wow them, but also like be curious and mysterious at the same time. So they yeah. want another date. Just tell so, them that you listen to Vibe LA and that you'll get them a ticket to Fiji. Oh my God, done. Sold. <laughs> you got wifey material right there. All right. <laughs> okay, so basically what happens towards the end, the end is that they provide you with materials to tell you who you liked, and if the same person picked you, then you're a uh, quote-unquote match, and then you'll give each other the contact information, and then the rest is kind of up to you. You got to go out there and go on a date, like an actual real longer than four-minute date, hopefully, and uh, kind of see how things play out. Sounds adventurous. Sounds awesome. And the ages are like 25 to 45 for women and men. 
So it's like, you know, it's a decent spread. Yeah. All right, so uh, you could have a 45 year old with a 25 year old, theoretically. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming that's going to be. You know what? We're living in a modern world, so that's cool, guys. It was, yeah, and it was like, what? It was like 30 bucks. So, I mean, you know, you can get, get a date for 30 bucks. Think about that. That's like 25 dates for 30 bucks. That's pretty cheap. That is pretty cheap, actually. That's really cheap. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. I'm in. Yeah, well, then also, what's. what's what the hell is that? Phones off, Nicole. Phones off in the studio, Nicole. Anyways, right. <laughs> poor Nicole. Okay, so let's move forward though to actual free sources of dating. Tinder and Bumble, and or Coffee Meets Bagel, East Meets East. Okay, you got all of them. All these like swipe right things. Craigslist ads. Wait, what? What? Um, no. So you can go on. Obviously, you do the swipe right thing. So, bro, have you ever uh, been on Tinder, Bumble? Like, what's your what's your thing on it? Yeah, I'm the asshole who like sits and plays Xbox and then has my my toe just like swiping right for every single person. While <laughs> playing Xbox. Legendary. It's so bad. Sorry, Nicole. Um, <laughs> I love how the pressure's on. Actually, She's just like in the room with us right now. Really? Yeah. That's a dorbs. Yeah, it was about it was about a five minute date, not a four, but it was pretty good. That's a dorbs. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I actually met uh, one of one of my exes on <laughs> uh, on Tinder, and we headed off. Great first date. I've had some decent like first dates on Tinder, but mm -hmm. like most of them are shit. Um, cause, and they're you hate. I hate when you're catfished and you show up and it's like a totally different person. Oh, I got catfished on a group a group date with uh, my buddy and uh, a couple other girls, and it was horrific. But it was awesome bro. though. We went we went through with it. You know, we did. He was like, "No, bro, let's leave. Let's leave." I'm like, "No, hell no. We're gonna stick." Through it's this. an experience. It'll, it'll be a legendary story. It's a story that you can tell. So, all right. So, uh, Mark and I were actually joking around the other week, and we Nicole, stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted to kind of uh, help you guys out a little bit. So for the gentlemen in the room, because society expects us in most cases to make the first move, which is whatever. So know, some of these days, some of these girls are aggressive. I know. I, I kind of like that though. Yeah. You know, good. yeah, it's uh, we're living, you know, in a fair society, feminism and stuff. So like, yeah, yeah, just don't get him a bottle of Myers cleaner, please. Don't get him a bottle of Myers cleaner. That'll really shut shit down. Oh, but we haven't been recording the whole time. Just kidding. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Mark and I basically sat down and actually, so I was telling Mark about this. This is a line that I've used in the past. And oh, this is great. It, it is. Finally, so... I've been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'll put it this way. I mean, obviously you could start out a conversation, just be like, Hey, what's up? Or how's your day? Or like whatever. But then you blend in with the other like 500 matches that this girl and or guy gets. So you want to mix it up and you want to kind of be quick, witty, and just get it all in. Um, no pun intended. No pun intended. But this is just kind of like a, a line that I came up with. You know, it's kind of cliche using like a prefab line or like, you know, a, a copy paste kind of thing that you have yeah. like stored in your like, phone. Did it hurt? Did it hurt? You I mean, you, you want you want to mix it up and make it like unique. But, you know, this is, I think, it's actually been a fail-proof way to uh, kind of lock in a date. If you give, wanna... uh, give, the, give the viewers a uh, little scenario of... What your what our buddy said about the success rate? All right, perfect. So I told uh, one of our coworkers actually to check this out. So I, I texted him the line, and he literally messaged me the next day. He said, "Bro, four out of the four girls that I sent this to." No, it's four out of the three. No, four. I was four out of the three. <laughs> Yes, it totally it was. Four, no, four out of the three people that you know I approached with this <laughs> line, you know, they responded and we had dates set up. I was like, bro, we are onto something here. Yeah, this is a good line. So, ladies, if you hear this line, it came from Devin. Um, and gentlemen, if you have used this line before, props to you. But uh, and if not, use it. Use it. Uh, let me pull it up real quick. I have to. I saved it in my notes. Uh, it's called Tinder It Up. It Tinder is. It Up. There it is. All right, guys. So listen in. I just spent 10 minutes spitballing opening lines with one of my friends and I've got nothing. Can we just skip to the part where we get sushi and sake next Tuesday and you say yes? So what do you think, Nicole? I would totally work. It would totally work. All right, so let's break it down a little bit. There is some psychology at play here. This is not just like kind of a line that we kind of like put together. This is, uh, it, it brings it. I, I, I want to like break it down as if I was a girl. You want to break it down? Okay, okay. okay. Oh my gosh, Clarice, look at this. Look what this guy sent me. He spent 10 minutes <laughs> spitballing opening lines. He cares. Like, he totally cares. He's spending time on this. Totally cares. So, with one of his friends. He has friends. <laughs> he's that popular. And he's got nothing. He's honest and he's kind of funny. Oh my God, I he's love it. He's probably sexy. Uh, Can we just skip to the part 
Okay, so I, just, I just suddenly got a man, man voice. Can we just skip to the part where we get Sushi and Saki next Tuesday? Oh my gosh, he likes Sushi and Saki. <laughs> and he knows when he wants it. He's like making a plan, not just like sometime. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, next Tuesday, and you say yes. Oh my gosh, he's so confident. I love it. Let's go on a date. I love it. That was a perfect uh, reenactment dramatization of uh, how you know how you react to how this. Your exes sound <laughs> 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 dot dot dot. Um, no, but yeah. So I mean, long story short, I mean, use some variation of this, or kind of you know keep some of these things in mind. You want to be funny. You want to be witty. You want to know you know what you want. What are we looking at? Twenty one minutes. We're twenty one minutes in. Cool. We should do more of these. We should. Valentine's um, Day every day. I'm Clary. <laughs> <laughs> Look, so you want to be you want to be witty. You want to be funny. You want to be honest. You want to be straightforward. You know, bring something to the table. Like you know, sushi. You know, you know what you want when you want it. You're confident. I mean, all these things. You know, it doesn't have to be this line, but you want to definitely stay along these threads and kind of use something. You know, playing into those things. Not just be like, hey, or what's up. Like nobody really wants to respond to that. You're not providing value. So. You know, bring some value to the table. Seem interesting, and uh, you know, best of luck to you, single gentlemen and ladies out there on uh, locking in a date in the next twenty four hours for Valentine's Day. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right. Also, what we have here is a new No Etiquette song that is dropping this week. Check it out and enjoy. Later. Later. Later.